Hi everyone, today I'm just going to do a quick comparison of the Leno Sensitive Small to the Casco Cup Mini. Um, I was just thinking about uh, what video to do next and I realized that I hadn't compared these cups um, side by side and they're pretty similar so I'm going to do that right now. Um, I will list the exact uh, dimensions and capacities in the description box but I will give you a look at you know each part of the cup. So just a quick look, I'm going to show you the Leno on its own first. Um, this is the Lena Sensitive Small. If you know the Lena Cup, they also have an original, which is a firmer, um, firmer cup. I have trimmed the stem. The small comes with about four, basically it's about four times as long as this is four notches on the stem. And I've trimmed it down to the last one. You can see what the grip rings look like. Pretty prominent grip rings are easy to get a hold of. It is a bell-shaped cup with kind of an extra flare in the base. The body of the cup is firmer than the rim of the cup. It has four suction release holes, um, and they are uh, molded at a slant, so they start on one side here on the left, and you see end on the right. Lena is embossed in the on the inside of the rim. You can see that there. Um, there are no other measuring lines or markings on the cup. Okay, and the Casco Cup Mini. This is the smallest size. They have. Um, Two larger sizes are size one and size two that are um just longer I think and then the size two has a wider diameter. So again, um this one I've kept the stem on. So this is the full length of the stem, which is just short with a blunt stem. Um couple grips. Yeah, the good good grip rings that you can get a hold of, but they're not as prominent as the Lena ones. Nice um uh, big easy to clean suction release holes. This rim is, um, you know, fairly prominent, but you can't actually, um, sorry, it is actually on the soft side, so it's not going to hurt, I don't think, when you use it. And secondary rim, not much soft, not much of the film is really from the body. Um, you can see that the wood mini is embossed on the inside there. And the other side says, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it says made in the USA on the inside. And this one has measuring lines. Um, on the inside, one is in ounces, so I think it's quarter ounce and half ounce. And then the other side is in milliliters, and it has seven and a half and fifteen. Okay. Okay. So now I will compare them the height side by side. Again, I'll put exact dimensions in the description box. Um, not including the stem, the casco is like a smidge longer if you include the very very base of the cup there. Diameter wise, I feel like these are about the same, but I don't remember right now. Uh, maybe like a millimeter difference. Let's see if I can just line them up here. These barely, I mean, it's hard to tell because they're the same color, but just if there's any difference, the casco is like a smidge wider, but nothing significant. Let me do it this way so you can see a little better. They both have really nice silicone. I would say it's actually a similar feel. Kind of nice peach fuzz finish. Um, so I'm going to compare the firmnesses now. Again, it's going to be a little bit tough to compare for a couple of reasons. One, the Lena body is firmer than the Lena rim. Um, two, they are slightly different shape, and because the Lena um bows out here, it will tend to cave the um casco in. But let's take a look anyway. So you see, the Lena is kind of squished in the casco. I mean, it is. I would say um. The Lena is firmer, not just because of the shape, but it's a little bit hard to do squish chest because of that. So hand, so the Lena is on my left side now. Okay, that's the inside of the Lena, inside of the casco. Looking at the rims, I would say the rim and the casco is softer, but let's see. Just a little bit softer, but not by much. Um, these are both, I would say, go, both good beginner cups. I think they have the same capacity as, you know, listed by the, um, by the manufacturers, but I imagine you might be able to get a little bit more of the Lena if you have a low cervix like me, because so much of the volume is in the base of the cup. But I can't say for sure. I, I mean, I tend to empty my cup pretty frequently when I have a heavy day anyway, so. Um, yeah, so that is kind of the cup themselves side by side. Um, so I'm going to show you the cases just because they're a little bit different. So the Lena has a kind of traditional mantra cup pouch. Um, their pouches are really nice. They're cute, little cute um, 
cotton pouches. They're really well sewn and they're very tiny. They just about fit the cup, which I like um, because I have a lot of cups and I don't need them to take up too much room. So you can only fit a cup in here, just one cup and not anything else. Uh, the Casco cup comes with this really nice case, which I like a lot um, because you can wash and dry the case right away. It has some vent holes in the bottom here so that it's not airtight. And this is a good, sometimes I end up using this as my like um, cup rest in my bathroom and even if I'm not using the Casco cup that month. Anyway, so that is a look at the Casco cup mini and the Lena cup sensitive. Um, if you have any other questions about them, please let me know. And thanks for watching.